just arrived at Wintergreen Ski Resort. Say hey, babe. Hey. Um, yeah, you definitely need to focus on driving because this road is seriously dangerous. Why she need to huh? Yeah, why don't you put it in the S? That's what you're supposed to use it for. Yeah, just change it. I do that when I'm on Broad Street in that hill. Anyway, um, so we are out here to go snowboarding. Whether I'm going to be able to get footage or not, uh, it's not a question. I'm going to get footage. With your help. With your help. This wasn't say yes, babe. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nate has a snowboard back there and all of that mess and some boots. I need to rent mine snowboard and boots and I think that's it we have everything else we need we have a whole snowsuit whoop, whoop, prepared this year and except I don't have a water resistant coat so I don't know we'll see how that goes what's the temperature 43 my ears is popping the temperature is right there I'm driving I got no no focus I got it Oof. you ain't gonna do nothing I'm leave you on this damn mountain. no you won't 41 degrees, which I think is, excuse me, I think it's a pretty decent temperature. I'm only wearing leggings and my, uh, what do you call this, Trenton. Well, the shirt that I got from the race I ran in Trenton. And I wanted to wear this to wick away any sweat that may occur. Sports bra and some leggings for comfortable, uh, yeah comfortable riding um, material for as long as I'm going to be in this passenger seat, which is great. We had to ride damn near all the way to the top of the gosh damn mountain because there's no parking. There was, there's three lots down there for parking and they're all left full. Yeah, yeah, Alright brother, appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Hmm, you said that you can't park now. Cause I ain't for what finish uh, Anyway, um, so we have to catch a shuttle down to the bottom of the uh, the bar, I mean the mountain. And what sucks, the last time that we did that, there was no seats, and we had to stand, and they couldn't stand up like all the way because it was. Oh, see, you remember all that? I do remember all that. I remember you had that too. too. Okay, so we're suited and booted. You do got goggles, you bastard. That's what I told you. Those army goggles? Yeah. Cheater. <laughs> it's not that it's not that sunny. It's not that sunny, so I should be good. Alright, so got my ear muffs instead of the hat this time around. The scarf. Yep. A coat that is not water resistant. So I look like an idiot. But this has been my ski jacket for the longest and my dog walking jacket. But I'm prepared because oh, try to make it onto the bus. Hi right, there, C. Yes, how you doing? All right. <laughs> Perfect. It's tight. You haven't sat on the bus in a long time, huh? Oh. Smart. Military. Did the military bus be looking like this? It's like you can't find it on the side. It's like, oh, I'm just going to go to the bar. Well, why didn't you give me a pair? Because you had to go on. No, you got an extra pair? Oh. Everybody got everything? Gloves? Hats? We just ran back Car keys? Yeah. <laughs> Red card? Car keys? Yeah. Lift tickets, all that good stuff. Skis, <laughs> yeah. yeah. boots, phones, snowboards. Children? No, I got you, those. Yeah, they're, they're when you get off. Okay. okay. Don't need those. And don't forget all that stuff when you get off. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we finally made it up 
to rent our, uh, what are we renting? Or I'm renting uh, snow boots and a board. Nate's board is over there. And we have to wait 30 minutes to get the four hour because we're only going to be out here for a half a day as opposed to eight hours. And we just had a whole rigmarole going on up in there because they rung me up for eight hours and I was like, well, I want the four hours, so give me my refund. And you only, you can't purchase the four hour until 1.30, which is 30 minutes from now. So we just waited out to get the four hour. And the dude said that he gave me a refund and then this guy over here saved me from beating somebody's face in because of my mistake you don't want to beat you ain't even know. <laughs> he but didn't dude, he did he, 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 he got me he got me I'm embarrassed to say I really am I can almost cry um, I walked away without getting a re receipt for my refund I just I wasn't thinking so just learn from my mistakes don't be talk about me. I ain't, you know, be allowed to slip up every now and again. Yeah, just take heed. Right, babe? You're not gonna let them bamboozle me? Hmm? Hmm? You let them bamboozle me. Okay, it took forever for us to get our skis. Checking in real quick. <laughs> you ready to rock? <laughs> rock out, Chicago. Mouth. They won't know. Just came down the uh, came down the slope for the first time. Most of it we were on their butts, but <laughs> butts, butt, butt, butt. It's all good though, right? So you don't even need your goggles. You didn't even use them. You don't need them. Why is this the next clip, you ask? And why is it not a clip of me snowboarding down the mountain? Hmm. Well, something. Vlogging. Something happened <laughs> that stopped me from going down the mountain. That happened. <laughs> Just letting them know, filming them in. What happened? <laughs> so funny. Oh my gosh. So, I'm looking rough. I'm going to be looking rough for the next, I don't know how long. Um, I already showed it. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm going to actually have to pay someone to do my hair. Yesterday was the day I was supposed to do it. Yes, my arm is broke. <laughs> so pretty much everybody's been saying, and you're probably thinking it too, that's why black people shouldn't snowboard. It's not true. It's just, what would you say happened? Oh, uh, you didn't listen? <laughs> so when you go skiing or snowboarding, especially if you're first starting out, even if you're not, you're going to fall. And when you fall, what do you do? What do you use to break your fall? Your hands. Well, <clears throat> it is a written rule that you are not supposed to use your hands to break your fall. Why? Because you can break your wrist. It makes sense. But think about when you go to fall. You don't have time to sit there and think about... No, you don't. Yes, you do. I do all the time. No, you don't. Yes, you don't do. have time to think about... Damn, let me not use my hands and while you're in midair. Tuck me. <laughs> so that's what happened. I used my hands to break my fall and broke my mother sucking arm. It took me a while to uh, accept the fact that I mean, actually, there was. It, it doesn't really take a, a while to accept the fact that I broke my arm. It's just every now and again, it's like, damn, I really broke this shit. And we had a two-hour drive 
to get back home to let the pups out before I can go to the hospital. It wasn't declared broken until I went to the hospital and they took x-rays. And um, the, med the, the medics at the resort, they, they can't give you any medication, no painkillers, no x-rays. They just, you know, made a makeshift um, splint. It hurts so bad. Hmm. I'm just going to have to give the 411 on another, uh, everything that happened on another video. Look at my hair. And it was so, I can't, I can't put my hair up in a bun. Some of my braids is coming undone. I can't fix it. I was supposed to be taking it out. Nate helped me put it in a bun. That's why it looks like this. Alright, I got my prescription filled. I've taken one of my good, good drugs. I can't tell you if it really helps with the pain because when I take it, it still hurts, maybe just not as much. I wish it helped with the itching because that sucks that I can't get down up in here, all up in there. Ugh, my fingers are swollen. I can't move my fingers. Um, yeah, I can't get up in there and scratch. Could you imagine that? It sucks. Oh, it sucks so bad. And it put me in a bad mood earlier. I just couldn't scratch. It hurt. I couldn't move it. It, you know, it was hard to get dressed. Nate has been helping me. And what sucks overall is that he's getting ready to leave Tuesday. In two days, on the other side of America, <laughs> for military school for a month. So I won't have any help. I won't have any help. I don't know how I'm going to make food. I can figure out how to get dressed. I don't know how long I'm going to be out of work. Walking the dogs is going to be a task. I'm going to have to walk one at a time. It's just going to take long to do everything. And um, the noise that you hear in the background is these guys. Bought them some um, something to chew on, give them something to do. It's so beautiful outside, which is why I'm sitting out here in the patio. And a freaking white beater, no less. And uh, so we're all just kind of sitting out here enjoying the warm weather while it lasts, because it's supposed to get down to like 18 degrees. I tell you, the weather here is just is crazy. And I just hope that I don't get sick. Maybe I shouldn't be out here in the white beater, huh? To be sick and have a broken ass arm. Oh my gosh, it's a bad combination. Anyway, so yeah, I got my meds. Um, and I'm going to take my time taking them. I made sure I read the instructions. It, you know, one of the side effects is vomiting, which I found out because yesterday I vomited. Uh, TMI, sorry. And, um... I vomited up my Chipotle. I'm quite upset about that because that Chipotle is good and Chipotle ain't cheap. Um, and the feeling that I feel when I take the medication, I feel drunk. I know that's why some people abuse the drug. I don't like that feeling and I don't like drinking to that point where I feel drunk. The room is spilling, spinning and I feel nauseous. I hate that. So um, I have been kind of avoiding taking the medication because I don't want to have that feeling. And, you know, Nate's yelling at me, take your medication, that's why your arm hurts. And when I take it, I have to lay down. I'm a person that likes to move around. I don't like to sit in one spot. And there's always something to do. So I like to get things done. So um, I'm going to make another video, keep you guys posted, because I have a feeling that I'm probably going to be putting out a lot of videos if I want to be stuck at home for the next, I don't know, how long. So stay tuned. You are probably wondering, why am I not giving you the details on what led to my arm breaking? Well, you're going to have to stay tuned because, uh, again, I'm probably going to be making a few videos and I will give all the details of what happened or at least what I remember what happened. So, so I see you again. I throw you the peace sign, but... That's all you're going to get. <laughs>